We're gonna teach you how to take an ordinary tumbler, hydro dip it in paint, and make it look like something awesome. We might even throw a little buffalo magic and chica craft magic on it. Let's get started now. Let me ask you a question. Have you ever wondered how difficult it is to hydro dip a tumbler into spray paint? My name is Joe Buffalo. Well, today we're gonna to show you how simple and fun this hobby really is. So if this is your first time on my channel and you really enjoy doing things you love to do with people you love to do them with, then you're in the right spot. Hit that subscribe button and ring that bell for future notifications of our show. Why don't we head over to the table to see what supplies we need so we can get this hydro dipping party started. So in order to get this hydro dipping tumbler project started, you're gonna need a five gallon bucket filled with water, some spray paint, some painter's tape, some plastic gloves, and no, that's not for any surgeries, a couple of tumblers, and some plastic bags from your grocery store. Let's go get this rocked. Now we're gonna go ahead and take our tumblers and go clean them really good. Get all that residue off them. Okay, these 30 ounce tumblers are now clean. Let's get them prepped for the priming part. We'll go ahead and tape them off and get the lid sealed. We'll be back when it's done. So now me and my little buffalo prepared these to be primed. We just added the tape around the bottom little lip and then the tops we wrapped them in plastic bags and seal them because they're vacuum sealed. So water won't get in there, neither will the paint. Let's go prime these bad boys. So now they've been primed and it's dried. So we've taken the tape off and we've also taken the lids off. Make sure you take it off before it fully dries so that it doesn't peel on you. All right, so we've re-taped them, resealed the lids with the plastic bags. Now we're ready to go dip them. Let's do this little buffalo. Let's go prepare that setup. Okay, to get this started, fill your bucket up with water. Pick the colors of paint you want. Get your mug closed. Get newspaper to put it on after you get done. One thing I forgot to mention is when you pull it out of the water, you're gonna need to air it dry it quickly. So we got our air pump hooked up and ready to go. Let's dip this mug. It's very important that we don't get bubbles in the, in the water as we're spraying the paint in. And when you dip this, you want to make sure you go in at an angle, very slow, and then bring it up so it collects all the paint. And twist as you go in. Submerge it the whole way and then bring it up. And there you have it. Put that down, air, we're gonna get the air gun on it now. Okay, if you haven't already done so, go ahead and smash that like button. Let's go for 50 likes on this one. Well, we all hydro dipped them. All three cups are ready. Now they're gonna dry. We've taken the tape off them so the paint didn't peel back as we removed it. We didn't want it to dry too long. So now we're gonna go ahead and put an epoxy on it so that we can maintain it once it gets washed. Let me show you what we're using. 
So here's the epoxy we're going to be using. We just picked this up at the local craft store. It's called Amazing Clear Cast. Let's mix this together and show you how to put it on there. So now we've mixed the epoxy. Just follow the instructions on how to mix it. And now we're going to apply a thin coat and then paint it on with a foam brush so we don't see the brush strokes. We'll continue to do the rest and I'll show you what it looks like when it's all done. Okay, now we've got all the epoxy applied. Wow, that stuff really brought a shine out on these cups. So we're going to let it sit for 24 hours to dry. A couple of precautions, don't get that on your fingers. Uh, that stuff is really sticky. Okay, after it's dried, it still has that great shine to it but it's missing something. I have an idea. Hey Chica Crafts, where are you? Let's go make some buffalo magic. We'll be right back. There we go, that's better. A buffalo on fire. And, any Game of Thrones fans? There's the wolf, we all know what they do. So the way we made these images is we just made a stencil off the Cricut, placed it on there right before we hydro dipped it. Great idea. So again, I just want to give a little call out to my buffer, Mustang OK. Hey, thanks for this great idea. You're gonna go ahead and we're gonna send you this Buffalo mug for giving us the idea. That's right, if you remember from last video and every video going forward, if you give us the idea and we pick it for our show, I'm going to send you the product we make. Always entertaining. Again, this was just one of those awesome hobby couples we did together. If you're not already doing, follow us on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. Hey, make sure you go down in the comment section and leave what you'd like us to make so you might be able to win something. And until next time, my name's Joe Buffalo. And we are always entertaining. See you next week.